Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and a visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Good day. Thanks for being here with me today on the Bounder BB Show. I've had a fascinating day, and I've got a guest to add to that. He is different in his uh, hosting duties, or judging duties, rather. I've got Travis, Travis Borson. He's here to talk about the Puppy Bowl. Travis, welcome to the Bounder BB Show. Thank you, Bounder. It's a pleasure to be here. Thanks so much for having me. Well, you're the judge. Okay, let's talk about this. The Puppy Bowl presents the dog games. This is on Discovery Plus. This is where the nation's most talented dogs show off their skills, show off their skills, right? That's right. Yeah, we have uh, we have four amateur dog trainers that have come together to show off their skills. And you know, one of the great things that we love about this competition, uh, not only the fact that the great host of Kim Whitley and uh, Crystal Powell, who's my co-judge, uh, who bring just an amazing energy to the show. But we really are focusing not just on how skilled the dogs are, but how the relationship is with the owner and the dog through this competition. So this is a very family friendly, fun, loving show. <laughs> I want my audience to know that Travis is the founder and the CEO of the Greatest American Dog Trainers. That's why he's so smart. And he was the host of Animal Planet hit series, My Big Fat Pet Makeover. Travis, let me ask you, there's four pairs of amateur trainers who face off against one another in this dog show? Yeah, so four of them come together and they go through three rounds of challenges. So the first round is called Horse for Dogs. So it's just like in basketball, you would play pig or horse. So in this game, one of the contestants will come forward, they'll ask their dog to do a cue, and then each other contestant will try to do the same cue. The first contestant that misses the cue gets the letter H, and then the first contestant to spell H-O-R-S-E will be eliminated in the first round. Then the second round is an agility course. It looks a lot like an agility course you might see on television, but we have some twists and turns and surprises for our contestants. It's not solely based on technical uh, aspects. We are really looking for how these trainers and their pets deal with adversity, how they, uh, are they patient? Do they get frustrated? Uh, and how their dogs, um, how they respond to their owners through these challenges. And then in the third round will be what we call the showstopper round, where the last two contestants will show off their best tricks, turns, and twirls uh, for the showstopper, <laughs> and the winner will take home $5,000 that will be donated to the charity of their choice. This sounds like a, a, a big American pageant here. I, if I didn't know it was about puppies, I would think it was people. That's right. That's right. You know, I, as a dog <laughs> trainer, I always tell people I'm, I'm helping dogs with people problems. Uh, most of the time, the, the dogs aren't the issue. Uh, so here we're we're really just trying to shed some light on positive reinforcement and growing that bond and relationship with your pets and piggybacking off of the puppy bowl, which is hugely successful. But how about those dogs and puppies as they get older? What are they doing now? And I think this is a great way to showcase that. When you're working with the dogs and the trainers, did anybody act up the pe the trainers or the dogs? Well, you know, I think it was the first time for a lot of these trainers and dogs to be in front of these cameras and lights and really on the big stage. But what we love about it is that dogs will be dogs. And we know that as the judges. So there were dogs that, you know, I mean, there was a couple of times right in the middle of, of one of the routines, the dog would just <laughs> pop a squat and take a number one right there, right? And hey, we got to say, hashtag, when you got to go, you got to go right? So uh, there were a lot of funny moments that we were able to play with and, and we're not there to dock points for a dog that needs to do what it needs to do. Uh, so a, a lot, a lot of fun things happening in this show. All right. But the most fun part is the finale of it. The best dog, I guess the best dog and the best trainer win $5,000 to donate to the charity of their choice. Correct. That's right. And that's one of the great things about this show is it's not about winning and losing. It's about giving, right? The owners giving to their pets, their knowledge, uh, the winner giving money to a charity that's close to their heart. This is a show where everybody wins. 
So when you guys do this next year, so does the winner of this year get to be top dog and, you know, come back and make a round for next year and tell all the dogs, this is what you got to do. That's a really good question. I think it's a great <laughs> idea. And if we decide to do that, we're going to give you credit. Okay, Travis. I love <laughs> that. I really do. Especially all my dog lovers. They're going to love this. We know you want us to watch it on Discovery Plus. When do you want us to watch it? Yeah, so we, we want you to watch this on Discovery Plus. It starts streaming this Saturday, February the 6th, and you can watch it 100 times. Uh, and feel free, if you're watching it, you know, follow me on Instagram at Travis Brorson. Uh, I would love to, to hear your thoughts on it and chat with you while you're watching the show. Travis, this is so delightful. I cannot wait. I'm going to watch it with my daughter. She is a dog lover. So we will have lots of fun. Thanks for gracing the Valder BB show. I think you are just phenomenal. Uh, thank you, Valder. I really appreciate that. Have a wonderful day. Hi, I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB show broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.